Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another episode of the Pattern Showdown and that is where I take two patterns from two different independent pattern companies and compare them to one another and then in the end let you know um, which was my favorite of the two. So if you're interested in seeing um, the comparison and my thoughts, then keep on watching. <laughs> Megan Nielsen Virginia leggings um, versus the Seamwork Shelly. So before I get started, um, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the details a little bit closer up. So both these fabrics are from um, Surge Fabric Shop and I originally found them on Etsy last year around Christmas, no, Thanksgiving time. And um, they recently moved over to having their own online website. And I think they still do sell on Etsy as well, but I don't think their selection is as large as their online store. So I got this really wild palm print <laughs> material, and this is super like out of my comfort zone. Like I usually just wear black leggings, um, but I saw this and I just thought it was really cool. And strangely, I love this. <laughs> so um, the waistband on this one is a little bit um, thinner, and then. For the Seamwork Shelly Leggings, um, I got this gray fabric also from um, Surge Fabric Shop. And I'll put the links um, in the description box below if these are still available. So this one has a much wider um, waistband and I actually really like that. And then for the inseam, and it has a gusset. Um, I don't know how well we're gonna be, I'm going to be able to show this to you because it's on such a dark fabric. But can you guys um, see see that? So it runs um, through your mid-thigh up into the crotch and then over into the um, <clears throat> thigh area. So, and I think this is supposed to help with like fitting issues. So if you have a thicker thighs, it gives you more... Um, more stretch, I think, is how they described it. It's just to help with um, fitting in that area so they're not so tight. All right. So there are five um, different items that I compare the patterns um, against one another. And the first one is fit and sizing. The second one is instructions. The third one is if a sew along is offered and if that sew along adds any value. Fourth one is uh, options available. And then the fifth one is availability. So like if you can get it PDF, printed, or both. <laughs> Sorry, Pepper's over there just staring at me, you guys. <laughs> She's so adorable. Okay, so the first one, fit and sizing. So the Megan Nielsen pattern um, goes from size 0 to 20. And I measured at a size 4, and that is what I sewed, and it fit me no problem. Um, the only issue I had was that I, the pant, the leggings are very long on me. But that's my fault, because, um, so it comes with three different inseams, like petite, regular, and tall. And I just sewed the regular um, without even measuring, just because I didn't think that um, I really considered petite. I'm pretty, like, average height. So I did that, but I think I probably could have did the petite inseam, um, and it would have fit a lot better for the length. But um, since that's like, you know, my mistake, um, I'm not going to, um, what's the word, say anything bad about that. I don't, does that make sense? <laughs> okay, the Seamwork Shelly, um, 
Those come in a size extra small to 3XL and only one inseam. Um, it doesn't come with three different lengths. And I sewed um, the size small and it fit me. I had no issues with how it fit. So uh, they both, you know, get a point for that. They're pretty even. <laughs> All right, the next one is instructions. So the Virginia comes with like a booklet and the instructions are really simple to follow. So you have like an illustration that shows you pretty well and then the um, step. And for the seam work, Shelly, um, it was the same thing. The only difference is it was online and not in a book. So both were very simple um, to follow. Alright, the next one is if there was a sew along and if that sew along, you know, was helpful. And I looked and I couldn't find a sew along for um, either the Shelly or the Virginia. However, the garment is pretty simple and the instructions are very straightforward and well written. So I don't even think that you would need um, a sew along for that. Pepper, stop. She's chewing on her paw. Okay, next one is options. So the Virginia, you get two versions. You get one that sits at your natural waistline, which is the one that I made. And then the version two um, is a low rise and she describes that as being ideal for maternity pants. I, I wouldn't know, I've never had a baby. So, but um, yeah, so you get two, natural waistline and low rise. And then you also get three different inseams measurements, petite, regular, and tall. For the seam work Shelly, it only comes as one, one inseam length and then one, um, where is it, one waist line, I guess is how you would explain that. So um, definitely the Virginia gets that point because you get a lot of um, different options. Okay, and the last one is availability. Um, so PDF, print, or both. Uh, the Megan Nielsen Virginia comes in both printed and PDF, and then the Seamwork Shelly only comes in a PDF version. So, <laughs> Pepper, <laughs> alright, so yeah, uh, as you can see, the Virginia, um, I really enjoyed, but I did enjoy the Seamwork Shelly as well. So, I'm going to, um, kind of say that I have worked out in um, both of these garments, and I liked working out in the Megan Nielsen one much better, and the only reason for that is because the gusset, I didn't like how it was rubbing on my thighs, especially um, when going to spin. Mm -hmm. Pepper didn't like that either. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It was so sad. Okay. So um, the only reason why I didn't really like working out in the Shelly is, like I said, because of the gusset. Um, I felt it like rubbing up on my thigh and I just found it really irritating, um, especially when I was doing spin. Because, you know, like you're pedaling and it's rubbing on the seat. So I didn't really like that. But I do like that the Shelly has a much higher waistband. <coughs> Sorry has a much um, thicker waistband and I actually really like these waistbands um, a lot better like am I ready to wear than these thinner ones so um, so if I could just get the Virginia legging with the <laughs> waistband of the Shelly that would probably be the most perfect legging for me and I saw that um, Helen's Closet has a legging I think it's was it the Avery um, which I think is what I'm looking for I don't know if it has a gusset because I haven't um, like really reviewed it, but just like browsing and seeing the flat drawings, I saw that it had a thicker waistband. <laughs> so if you guys have um, made that legging, can you let me know um, your thoughts on that and if you think it would be a good idea for me to go ahead and try it out? Because like I said, I really like the thicker waistband. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, yep, that's my review of these two, and I hope you guys found this helpful and interesting. Um, if you like these kind of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment below, again, letting me know your thoughts. If you've sewn either one of these, what you what your take is on it, and then also if you've made the um, leggings from Helen's Closet, what you thought of that. 
And also, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram. Um, my so my name is Mary Dot with Dot Dogs, and that information will be on the insight for you. And um, I'm gonna go because I think Pepper wants my attention. So bye, guys.